To balance this double displacement reaction, we'll count the atoms up on each side of the equation. We have two sodium atoms, and then we're going to count this carbonate as just one thing because we have it here and here. And that's a useful technique when you're dealing with these double displacement reactions. We're going to count one of these here, one magnesium, and two bromines. On the product side, we have one sodium, one of the carbonates, that's CO3, one magnesium, and then one bromine. It looks like really all we need to do is put a coefficient of two in front of the NaBr. So we have one times two, that'll give us two Na's. One times two, that gives us two Br's. And really, that's all we have to do. We're done. This equation is balanced. Although it didn't help us a lot just counting this as one thing here, it does help in many double displacement reactions. So you don't have to count up all kinds of oxygens and different things. Really simplifies the balance. Either way, this is the balanced equation for Na2CO3 plus MgBr2. And this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.